what the heck is going on guys welcome to another amazing computer networking tutorial and in this video I want to start talking to you guys about topologies or some people just call it the layout of your computer network now of course by topology or layout I basically mean how you're gonna set up your network how you're gonna connect are your computers how you're gonna you know lay them out and connect the wires to them because whenever you first design a computer network there are many different ways that you could lay it out around your house or office you just don't want to throw your computers in any room start connecting everything with wires or else it's probably not gonna work now I'm gonna be going over some very common layouts or topologies some of the most common ones are what I'm gonna be going over in this video is called bus and you also have ring uh, star mesh and there are different common layouts and each one has its benefits and they also have their drawbacks mostly depending on how much traffic you have and a couple things that you want to take into account whenever you first design a computer network especially if you're in the business of designing a computer network is one major thing is cost how much are these devices gonna cost you know um how much is the setup fees so on and so forth and another thing is the ease of maintenance now as you're gonna see whenever I start drawing these diagrams some are very simple like the bus one I'm about to draw and some are rather complicated and the more complicated they are they're a lot more difficult to maintain so again those are just some very starting ideas if you never laid out a computer network before take into account the cost and the ease of maintenance so now let me go ahead and show you guys a diagram. I'll shut up now and I'll talk about a very simple bus topology. Now bus topology kind of looks like that. It has one main cable. So this is, you know, we'll just say it's an ethernet cable or something like that. And it's kind of like a long chain and all of your devices are going to be connected along the way. So you might have, I don't know, let's say you have a desktop or we'll just say you have a PC right here and we'll put another PC over here and let's see let me pick a new color um you know maybe we have a Mac MacBook or you know iMac whatever and a laptop over here so basically all of these things are going to be connected to the main backbone or the main chain now of course since this is computer networking we might as well throw in you know a server we'll say that this is an office or you know like a work uh, I don't know or a home or something like that and we'll also put a printer in here why not alright so all of these devices all of these computers are sharing the same printer and the same server and as you can see they're all connected to the same major backbone now another thing I want to point out is whenever you have a bus topology you need something special and those are called terminators so I'll just write T for terminators T T and these are actual devices that you can buy and you need to put them on the ends of your cable now the reason that you need these terminators right here is because well I'll talk to you guys about how these devices work so of course if you guys know whenever you send out a signal say the PC right here wants to I don't know request uh, something from the server it sends it out along this cable right here but since you know there are not any you know smart devices which we're going to be talking about later on this signal is going to go to every single node or every single one of these devices now of course if this computer network is set up successfully due to protocols and so on and so forth the server is going to be the only device that responds so that's what allows this PC and this server to communicate effectively with each other because even though it's sending out the signal everywhere only the server is going to be aware that okay I'm actually the device that it wants to talk to now I can go ahead and transfer files back and forth so on and so forth now that brings up my next point that is why you need these terminators right here a terminator is basically a device that whenever you have these signals going to the ends of the cable you can actually have something and I won't go into detail but the electric signal can actually bounce off the ends of the cable and mirror back so let me go ahead and pick a color like yellow if this server right here was sending out a signal if it didn't have this terminator right here the signal could actually go to the end of the wire 
bounce back and be resent along the cable again which is of course not a good thing it would make it look like there are many different messages being sent at once so that's basically why you need a terminator to absorb the signals at the end so they don't get mirrored back now let me go ahead and talk about the good part of this network this is very easy to set up it's good for small home networks or offices and another thing is it isn't very expensive it's very cheap there isn't a whole lot of cable that you need um, one of the drawbacks from a bus topology is that it can break very easy for example if this terminator right here if that breaks then pretty much you're gonna have a lot of mirroring and your electric signals are gonna confuse all of your devices and another thing is if you have one split in the cable let's say right here then of course this entire side is not going to be able to talk to this entire side and also you're not going to have a terminator right here and you have a whole bunch of problems with this layout so even though it's really cheap and I want to say it's decent for like a small home or a small office overall I would not recommend it because this is really old topology and if this is your first network then go ahead and set it up like this but overall I wouldn't recommend it because it's old outdated and you have better choices but just to go over you know a very simple topology this is probably the easiest one so anyways I'll shut up now thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorials I'm gonna be showing you guys you know a ring a star a mesh layout and you guys are gonna see the benefits of this and trust me much better definitely more exciting so thank you guys for watching and by the way make sure to follow me on facebook and i'll see you guys later